Hey folks, good morning. Um, I'm going to do a video on a new little setup I've got, um, a little experiment I put together, and it's this little pee puffer tank. Now, um, I was going to do a video of me putting it all together, but um, I didn't get around to doing that. So basically, it's pretty self-explanatory. You've got a big piece of bogwood in the middle, um, actually made up of three different pieces. It's planted out on the top with various mosses from the garden and some ferns from the garden. There's a little bit of uh, java fern back there, which has grown happily out the water. Um, I'm running it currently on one of these new um, Ocean Free Hydra filters, which I'll be doing some tests on that. I've only had it running for about two weeks now, and uh, it seems to be doing a good job, but I need to test the parameters of the water, and I'll get back to you on that. But what I, what I did want to talk about, super, super, super glad to do it, is the little pea puffers. There's four of them in here. And of course the light is absolutely shocking. There we are. There's one. And there's four uh, in here. And they're getting on really, really well. There's lots of hiding places around the big tree trunk and all the plants and all the little places they can hide. So they do seem to be getting on quite well. And I haven't overstocked it with four of the tiny little things. But as most people will know, whenever I do a video, Benny appears with a squeaky toy. It's just standard these days. Most people will know they're very fussy eaters. Um, they do take snails, um, but not mine. I've bred a snail tank, which is over here, um, and it's got the guppy fry in it, and it's full of pest snails, and the pest snails are having a whale of a time in there, thinking, hey, 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 we're getting fed, and there's lots of nice warmth in here, and what a great life, he doesn't pull us out. Well, I am, I will be. But look at all them on the filter. Um, there's a little tip. I took one of the uh, my wife's little sort of pop socks, they call them, over here in England. Little pair of like sort of tights that you put on your feet, and I put it over the bottom of the filter to stop any of the stop stop any of the little baby fry getting sucked up. But I'm going to do a quick uh, explanation of this. Right, I took a little Tupperware tub out of the kitchen cupboard, the type you put nuts and snacks in. Benny, give it a rest, mate. I've drilled some holes in it. I've got a drill bit like this. <clears throat> And you can drill different size holes with them, they're really useful. So I've drilled some sizable holes all the way around and a little hole for the sucker. Um, I've left that little U-shaped part on because it, 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 I don't need to, but I realise it is quite useful for holding down some of the um, food that I put in there. That's a piece of frozen bloodworm, um, which is just defrosting. I'm, I'm going to pop it in the tank and it'll defrost in there because obviously it's a tropical tank and it's quite warm. Um, so it's a very, very simple little idea, and I've tested this out already. The hardest part is getting the lid on with one hand. There we go. Right, so there it is, a little feeding station. The puffer fish can swim in. It's very important to put more than one hole in so they can swim out without any confusion. They swim in there, uh, get the blood worm, uh, swim back out. It keeps your tank nice and clean. Any unused blood worm you can just lift out quite easily. And that'll just sit inside the tank like a little... Dwarf Puffer Restaurant. There we are. And that's what I'm going to call it, the little Dwarf Puffer Restaurant. Now, I could stand here for a while and he won't go in there on video. This noise is terrible. Um, he won't go in there on video because they are quite sort of elusive, shy little creatures. But I have observed them swimming in there and eating happily and swimming back out again. Ah, you beautiful little fish, you. There we go. He's going in. He's having a little peck, but the blood... Ah, there you go. He took a bloodworm. You are a superstar. Thank you. I will do a channel devoted just to that fish. Uh, so there we go. I'm glad about that. We've got a, our little uh, people for restaurant in action and it's sitting there and I think that'd be quite useful. It literally cost me nothing to build it because I found a little tub in the kitchen, them little snack tubs and get drilling, couple of holes, sucker and you've got yourself a nice little food tidy as I like to call it. I hate food just getting stuck around the uh, the scape of the tank and the plants, so this does stop it, and I think that's a brilliant idea, and it's been well put to the use there by the little pea puffer. Thanks for watching.